हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू बानी का एस स्मार्ट क्लास सो इन द ओसेस मैन एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड वेरी शॉर्टली द सोशल इश्यू आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन पेपर वन ऑफ द जनरल स्टडी सिलेबस इन द सोशल इश्यूज व्हिच आर नॉर्मली अराउंड फिफ्टी मार्क्स आर आस ऑन सोशल इश्यू द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फॉर दिस इयर्स विल बी टेकन अप इन दिस डिस्कशन ऑन सोशल इश्यू वाट आर द टॉपिक्स दैट विल डिस्कस इन दिस सेक्शन so issue like human rights human rights is a global concern so starting from united nations declaration of universal declaration of human rights to the indian national human rights commission we'll discuss all these issues what is human rights what is the constitutional protection for human rights what is the violation of human rights why it is violated who violates it what are the government steps to check it and why the national human rights commission and the state human rights commission have been created what is their mandate and how they have been created as the watchdog of human rights to protect the women because they are born as human being so enjoy some inalienable and inherent rights we'll discuss in that particular issue then we'll discuss corruption in public life you know corruption is a very big social issue in india so everywhere we love that listen the term corruption everywhere as if it has been institutionalized in india so why corruption what led to corruption so what are the steps taken by the government and what are the institutional mechanism created the law made the act passed by the parliament and the institutional mechanism like the cbc central vigilance commission the lokpal at the center the lokay in the states and other mechanism created to check corruption because corruption is the biggest ill because in the corruption perception index published by the transparency international india's position is sliding day by day that means although we are developing but the level of corruption in our country is growing so what are the steps taken to check corruption we'll discuss in that then the third one will be child labor you know child is the future of the country so he is supposed to get good education he must be maintaining good health so because he is the future of the country but so we saw so many child laborers at each and every place in the hotel in the garage in that restaurants so in so many outlets we just come across the child laborers so when they are supposed to spend their time on academics to pursue their future they are engaged in child labor what is the causes of child labor why a child who was supposed to attend school so he is skipping the school to do some labor which is injurious to his health and which makes his future totally black so child labor its causes its impact and what are the government step to check child labor so inclusion developments in this segment will cover in this child labor then comes communal harmony so we are living in different communities religious communities are there in the country and so we are supposed to live in harmony but at times this communal harmony is affected or is destroyed by some communal element through communal violence what are the communal reasons for this communal violence and what measures can be taken by the government and what law agency has been created by the government to check this communal violence and maintain communal harmony will be discussed in this issue called the communal harmony we'll take one more issue called the drug abuse so this is what contrabands so this are used by the people especially the youth so starting from punjab to the north eastern states and almost in almost all the states of the country drug abuse among the youth is a very big challenge so why the drug abuse what are the reasons for that and what are the government major to check this drug abuse we cannot ultimately eliminate it right now but what steps can be taken to check it and what are the rehabilitation measures for the drug addicts so there is a rehabilitation there provisions for the drug rehabilitation centers so for their counseling so there's there, there's psychological supports so medical facilities what are the steps taken by the government to rehabilitate the drug abusers or the drug addicts and what how to check this finance of drug abuse we'll discuss in this chapter we we'll take the issue of minorities so who are the minorities as you all know indian constitution so allow normally six types of minority although minority the term has not been properly defined in the constitution but as per today there are six religious minority in india so the minority are supposed to live at equal footing with the majority community because the hindu being the majority community in india the other minority muslim sikh christians parsi jain all minority community they must lead a life equal to the majority community so why what are the step taken by the government to promote this minority and what are the constitutional measures to protect the minorities and what steps has been taken like the minority commission so all these steps and 
other measures by the government will be discussed in this section called the protection of the minorities. Then also we will take the issue called the Dibyangas. So who are the Dibyangas? Earlier they are called as the disabled. It was very insulting. So then we call them differently abled. So at, at present we call them with dignity as Dibyangas. So why? Because they are integral part of our society in our family. What are the measures taken by the government for their rehabilitation and what steps we can take to rehabilitate them with our active support government policy on their rehabilitation can be successful. So what are the steps taken, what is the mechanism created, what is the national level institution created for them and what is the measures taken for them like setting the census to the disabled commission all will be discussed in this section called the rehabilitation of the disabled or the dibangas. Nationalism and terrorism, the two most important issues which are big threat to India's national security or the internal security of India. So, you see, nationalism as a concept emerged in West Bengal in the 1960s. From West Bengal, it spread to around 19 states and around 200 districts of the country were under the grip of nationalism at a particular time, although the trend is falling right now. What is nationalism? Why it is called nationalism? Why its other name is Maoism? Why it is called as left wing ultras? So, what is the red corridor? So, why nationalism grow? What the government policy to check it? So, the policy of rehabilitation, the policy of surrender, the policy of launching developments. So, bring them with the national mainstream and also anti national operations. And the strategy by the government which led to the falling trend of national violence. We will discuss in this particular section. And also terrorism. So terrorism is a global phenomenon. So terrorism at the global level, the terrorist groups, what are the causes of terrorism, the different terrorist groups, so the terror violence and the law on provisions made by the central at the world level by the United Nations and by other government, other countries and also at the national level. So in government of India, because India is the old sufferer of terrorism. So since the days of terrorism that started in Khalistan, Punjab, till the present day in, in Jammu Kashmir. So terrorism is a very big issue in India because it is the biggest security challenge or internal security threat challenge to India. So what are the steps taken to check terrorism? What is the institutional mechanism created? What is the special force created? And what are the other steps taken in cooperation or coordination with other countries by India at the United Nations level, at the bilateral level with America, with Israel and other countries against terrorism. So these will be discussed in these sections. As well as at the end of the each and every topic, we will take up important questions with their answer model. What you are supposed to write in the answer to the specific question on human rights, on corruption, what are the important questions on corruption, how to write the answer into those questions, what are the important questions on child labor and how you will be covering that particular questions, what are the different points that you have to add to specific questions on communal harmony, drug abuse, all these topics will be discussed and at the end we will discuss the questions and not only the questions but also how to write answer to them, the key concepts to write a better answer or to make you confident that you can write a better answer in examination hall. They all will be dealt in this section. Hope that this session will be very very useful for you because this is around 50 marks out of 600 in the OPSC main syllabus. Hope our classes will be very useful for you. So keep on watching these classes and not only keep on watching, we will request you to start writing after the class as per the questions that we discuss at the end of each class. Thank you.